Hey guys, good morning. It is Arika Misha and it is early in the morning and I just wanted to do a little, you know, kind of work with me, come to work with me kind of uh, vibe this morning. So yeah, I'm at work right now and I'm going to be leaving work early today because I do have an appointment to go to today. So yeah, I just decided to do a little vloggy vlog today and where I work at, none of your business. Anyway. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing now, working. Um, and you guys have seen, I don't know if you have seen or not, I've got a workstation in my room. I've got two computers, um, you know, for work. So yeah, because what I do, I need two computers. Top secret. And yeah, this is me in the morning, no makeup. This is how I look. And I just took my um, braids out the other day, day before yesterday, washed, deep conditioned my natural hair. And I do have another appointment this week in hair appointment to get um, my second protective hairstyle. I am all natural, but right now I am doing the uh, protective styles, you know, to help protect my hair. And I want it to grow out so my fro can grow bigger. You know, I'm looking for that whole Diana Ross fro. So, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, so just hanging out with me at work, guys, for now. And if you guys hear some rain in the background, I've got the sounds of rain playing. I love to hear the sound of rain. You know, it helps me relax, helps my brain wake up. Yeah. And just so you guys know, I'm up early in the morning, every morning. I am up every day at 5 a.m. I've just always been an early morning person. That's just how I've always been since high school. So, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, even on weekends, I'm up at 5 am just how I am don't judge me please don't judge me and I won't judge you anyway oh, let's see yeah I've got a few things I need to finish before I log off to go to my appointment this afternoon so it's gonna be an early work day for me so I definitely like to make sure everything is done before I leave and up to park. And today I have a doctor's appointment. Ladies, make sure you're doing your yearly checkups with your doctors, your lady doctors, your primary doctors, all that. It's a very important, ladies. You got to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, of course, make sure you're taking your kids to their physicals every year. I know a lot's been going on with COVID. I understand that. But, you know, we still got to make sure we make it to these appointments to make sure we're okay. Everything's okay. Um, make sure you're getting your yearly physicals, um, depending on what age you are, your yearly mammograms, all that good stuff, ladies. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and your kids, you know, because we, a lot of times when people don't do their yearly appointments, they find out stuff late, sometimes too late. But, you know, I feel that if you're going to your yearly doctor's appointments, um, that's what your primary doctor, your OBGYN, um, your kids are going to their doctor appointments every year. You know, I, I, I do think that's a preventative to help you um, preventative care. You know, I think that's what your insurance calls it anyway. But, yeah, make sure you're going to your doctor's appointments. Make sure your kids are making sure, you know, everybody's going to their appointments to take care of themselves, especially with COVID and everything going on. So, I mean, even before COVID, I always make sure I go to my doctor every year, my primary, um, my OBGYN. I've, I've always done that because I truly believe that, you know, you got to keep up with your appointments. It's only once a year. I mean, you know, how hard is that? 365 days when they got to go call your doctor and schedule appointment with your OBGYN or your primary doctor. It's just one day, ladies. It's just one day. So, make sure you're doing that. I know I look a mess, but I don't care. I am beautiful with or without makeup. <laughs> Alright, ladies. Let me get back to work. See what we're doing here.
So ladies, make sure, you know, just going to do a little chat, chat, chit, chat, you know, while I'm sitting at my work desk. Well, you know, my at home work desk. Anyway, um, yeah, just, you know, want to make sure, you know, you guys understand how important it is to make sure you're going to your doctors and you're taking care of yourself, <clears throat> taking care of your health, you know, making sure you're okay. It's important. It's important, guys. Got to make sure we're okay. And we're taking care of ourselves, you know. Because our kids depend on us. So, got to make sure we are right. We got to make sure we're okay. You know. And uh, make sure you're getting your checkups. And, you know, we got to be around for our kids. We got to be around for anybody who's depending on us. You know, whether you have kids or not. Anybody who depending on us, we got to make sure we're healthy and up to par to do that so yeah I got my two appointments with my OBGYN and um, my yearly mammogram so make sure you're doing that ladies yes so I have two appointments today so busy 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 and I have to stop by McDonald's. I'm addicted to their caramel frappes. The iced coffee frappes. Ooh, that's some good stuff. That stuff is addicting. So good. I got to make sure I stop by McDonald's today and pick me up one of those. My daughter likes them too. So I got to make sure I get her one. Yeah. And my hair, I just have my natural hair twisted. Got like a little twisties. So when I take it out, it'll have a little curl, a little body. But, yeah, this is until I have my hair appointment this weekend to get it into another protective style. And I will be posting it on Instagram. So, ladies, make sure you're following me at Arika Misha on Instagram. Thank you. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe on this video for me. And I just want to take this time out to thank everybody for their love and their support on my channel. And I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Let's see. And I just want to take this time out to be thankful for um, me being able to work from home. I thank God for that every day. You know, some people don't have this option. And I thank God that I do have a job that allows me to work from home. And my girls are homeschooled because I'm not comfortable with sending them to school. You know, with the whole COVID thing. And that's my choice, my personal preference. I don't judge other people, you know, for sending their kids to school. That's their business. I'm not here to judge anybody. So... But um, I just thank God that I am in a situation where I can work from home and I can be home with girls while they're being homeschooled. So I thank God every day that I still have a job because I have some family and friends that don't, you know, because due to COVID they got laid off. But um, I pray for them every day and I thank God every day for allowing me to still to be able to work and provide for my family. And at the end of the day, Jesus God is my provider. He is the provider. So, I thank God every day. I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't got some Jesus, got some God, y'all better get some. Because with everything going on, y'all won't, won't really need some Jesus, some God. So, but I was born and raised in a church. So, I've always, you know, had a relationship with God. And I instill that in my children as well. You know how important it is to have a relationship with God. My choice, my preference. I'm judging anybody. Just letting you know how I live. Because as for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Yes. 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 So. But 
the thing about this, I'm not one of those people that like like constantly ga 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 ga. Cause like I said in in my about in my YouTube about information about me, you know, sometimes I may do things that may seem like I don't know God, but I do. Oh oh trust and believe God will always be number one. You know, sometimes I may break out with some Beyonce. Some Queen Naja. Love Queen Naja. Hey girl. Love you, Queen. Um, you know, I may do that. I'm sorry, I love music. I've always loved music. Gospel, R and B, old school R and B, because <laughs> you know, your girl is old school. But I like the new school, I like some of the new school stuff too. Um but yeah, I've always loved music. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always loved music. So, um, yeah, I listen to gospel. I listen to R&B. Um, I listen to a lot of different kind of. I like country music. My oldest daughter, her name is Shania. Shania Twain, country singer. Hey, don't judge me. I like I like Shania Twain. I like a lot of her music. Back then, Shania Twain was popping. You know, now she she's not really in the industry as much, but um. I like Shania Twain, I like, and she's country singer, so it don't, it don't matter. I love music, period. And my kids are the same way. We love music. Doesn't matter who it is. It don't have to, you know, be what society calls black music. We like all music. It is what it is. <laughs> don't judge people. You like what you like. As long as you're not hurting nobody, as long as you're not, you know, people don't like what they like, so. And I teach my kids, love, love everybody, love everybody, no matter what color you are, we are all equal in God's eyesight, we are all equal, period, so. God loves everybody, all colors. And I love everybody, all colors, everybody, and I teach my kids that, love sees no color so but you know what let me get back to work guys and the next time you say you guys will see me i'm sure i'll be dressed for my appointment and getting ready to head out so i'll chat with you guys a little bit more later bye and don't forget knowledge is power that's what i believe in knowledge is power you gotta we have to learn things we have to understand things if you don't know something learn about it go on youtube everything's on youtube google google it youtube it everything is on youtube i mean i've learned a lot from youtube start my own youtube channel you want to know about youtube just google it go on youtube you can learn everything there so knowledge is power there's no reason for us not to know things knowledge is power all right i'll chat with you guys later Hey guys, it's Tarika Misha. I'm back and dressed. Got a little makeup on. Just something light. I did like a, uh, the Urban Decay Cherry Palette. I love Urban Decay. I have all their palettes. Great palettes. And they're not even that expensive. So, anyway. Um, I have on the, like a cherry color with like a glitter cherry. I don't remember the colors, but the name of the colors but yeah that's what I have on the brow and I just did a little highlight on the nose a little contouring and a little light rosy red cheeks and I did the Juvia I know y'all already know uh, I did the Juvia in Vogue uh, lipstick uh, and I did uh, just a gloss over it so I just did something light to go to the doctor's office and you guys see the natural hair is back until Saturday until my next appointment to get my next protective style so yes I miss my natural hair I miss it and the fro is growing look at that fro it is growing she is growing yes she is getting big huge I love it but yeah get ready to head out to the doctor's office and I'm wearing my old faithful white tee um have on my ties let me see if I can get in the mirror here get a mirror there y'all give me a minute y'all know I'm still trying to learn how to use this camera Let's see what we can do okay guys yep in the mirror there I go all right got my white tee and I just got on some comfortable pants athletic pants that says love all over them and my white pretty little Walmart shoes Something nice and simple and comfortable to go to the doctor's office you know I ain't got to get all dressed up but I do want to look nice 
Ladies, remember, let me turn this camera around so y'all can look me in my face. I'm getting the light. Ladies, remember, always look nice. You always want to go looking nice. I'm not saying, you know, you got to pull the lashes out all the time. I'm not saying that. But make sure, you know, we as women, we want to make sure we look nice no matter where we go. Always look nice. It ain't got to be all, I'm not saying you got to be all dressed up to the T. Because sometimes, like you see right now, I'm just comfortable. I'm just going to the doctor's office. Dress for the occasion. Like if you're going somewhere to a nice dinner, dress up. You're just going to the doctor's office, a white tee and some athletic pants and some white tees is just fine yeah a little makeup now come on now women every woman should know how to do at least the basic makeup the basic I ain't saying you gotta get all glossed up face beat but come on ladies we gotta at least know how to do the basic makeup the basics cause I mean there was a time in my life I didn't really know how to do makeup real but thanks to YouTube <laughs> I learned a lot of things but I've been doing my makeup for years. I've been doing makeup since I was in middle school. So I just learned like the new things that they're doing um, recently. But I've done my I've been doing makeup ever since I was in middle school, child. So I was doing makeup before a lot of you guys even had YouTube channels. But yeah, I learned a lot from the YouTubers that are on um, now. The, the older people can learn from the young and the young can learn from the old, honey. I have no problem learning from anybody. Because like I said, knowledge is power. How much power you want? anyway but yeah guys i'm back just wanted to just check in let you guys know i am headed out to my doctor's appointment um and let you see what what the natural fro looking like <laughs> give you that side shot <laughs> all right guys let me go um let me see let me show you guys what i'm wearing on perfume and um see what i'm wearing today i am wearing the dolce and gabbana uh, the light blue. This is nice. It smells really nice. I like it. And you guys see, I got a million perfume. I got Victoria's Secret. I got um, Kato's uh, perfume. I got Walgreens, CVS. It don't matter. It don't matter. Flea markets. It don't matter who perfume. As long as I love the smell, I don't care. Dollar General. Whoever got the um, Dollar General Family Dollar, it don't matter. If it's a perfume smell that I like, I'm going to get it. It don't have to be name brand for me to get it. Anyhow. But, yeah, I got this Dolce & Gabbana because I like the way it smells. It's nice. And I think this Dolce & Gabbana was only like 60 bucks. So, and you know what, ladies? This is the thing. Let me just give you some tips. The big name fra fragrances, if you like them, if you want them, all you have to do is just save up to get them. Perfume that costs 60 bucks. You just tuck back $20 every month. Hello? $20 every month. You can get it. In three months, you can get it. Or even if you can do $30 a month. In two months, you'll have it. See, every, everything's doable. You just got to have some kind of self-control to save the money to get what you want. People always think, oh, you got to have a lot of money. No, it's about how, how smart you're being. It's about that knowledge. That's what it's about. Anyway, um, but yeah, don't think about it. That's what I'm wearing today, the light blue. I love it. It smells really nice. Um, and I just picked out these two rings. Um, just something cute nice and simple throwing those on today and my uh, mom bracelet throwing that on so um and I do have a gold watch um but sometimes I don't like wearing a watch sometimes I do sometimes I don't but this is what I'm throwing on today and y'all guys I got perfume all over my dress I got perfume over here I got tons of perfume over here I got perfume in my little box I got all kind of stuff in here guys I got all kind of stuff. And this is stuff that I got, you know, as time went on. As time went on. And like this uh, Coach Poppy perfume. Yeah, I got some name brands. But do I have all name brands? No. I don't. Because, you know what? Some name brands don't even smell good. I got this Versace, Versace, Versace. I got that. <laughs> yep. Um... I got a couple of other ones, guys, but you know what? I don't care who perfume it is. If I like it, I'm gonna wear it. It don't matter. Don't have to be name brand for me. I'm just, it's, I'm just not that type of person. I don't care. I don't care if I like the smell. I'm gonna get it. If it costs five dollars, oh well, I'm gonna get it. If it's not a name brand, not popular, oh well, I'm gonna get it. It's, it's me. I'm, I'm gonna get it because it smells good to me. Anyway, yeah, we got, we got to get out of that whole. Oh, um. Well, I'm not going to get it unless it's name brand. 
Girl, you go around here. Anyway, I'ma smell good whether it costs five dollars or fifty dollars. I'm gonna smell good regardless. Anyway, um, cause you know what? When you got that perfume on, you smelling good. Nobody don't know how much that perfume costs. Nobody don't know all that. Anyway, but yeah, so I got my Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I love it. It smells good. Um, so every now and then I wear that amongst my other choices. I got my Victoria's Secrets over here. Um, don't sleep on Victoria's Secrets. Their smells smell really good. And I got this one, Passion. I got this one from uh, Dollar General. It was like a set for like $5. And it smells good. Yes. Let me pick this one up. This one I got from Kato's. It's called Exotic Vanilla. And I paid like $5 for that. And it smells really good. And it lasts. So... You know, some cheap perfume doesn't last that long. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. But whatever. It smells good. I like it. Let me show you guys another favorite I got over here. This is also from Kato's. Kato's, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. But our Kato's, it's like a store. A clothing store. You know, like a, um, I don't know. I can't really explain if you don't have a Kato's. But it's a clothing store. Um, and they sell perfume as well, so. And this is a fragrance called Flowers Forever. It smells so good. Only $5. I ain't got the price on it, but yeah, it was only $5. And this right here, girl, please. Vanilla Body Fantasies. I got this from Walmart. Try. Got this from Walmart for five bucks. Probably wasn't even five, probably three. No, that was five dollars. But yeah. The Victor Victor uh, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. I like the whole bombshell line. I got it all. I got the whole bombshell. And Victoria's Secret be having sales, child. They give you like three for twenty-five. So yeah, and there's the, another bombshell, bombshell paradise. Oh please. And where's the other? Yep, and here's the other bombshell seduction. Yeah, they got Victoria's Secret got a couple of bunch of bombshells, different smells, and that. Ooh, so sexy. From Victoria's Secret. Oh, and this is another one, always sexy. <laughs> That's from um Kato's. My uh, local Kato's is like a clothing store. You know, like an outlet. So, but anyway, let me get ready to head out to the doctor's office. Just wanted to chat with you guys again before I left. All right, ladies. Remember to always look good, smell good, and remember knowledge is power. Bye. Hey, guys. So, I did finally make it back from my doctor's appointment. And, yes, it was a nightmare out there. Uh, I hate late afternoon doctor appointments because... You end up being there all day. And I have my regular appointment with my OBGYN and I have my mammogram appointment. Yeah. So I usually schedule them together so that I can just go ahead and get them all done and be through with it. So, yeah, I was at my doctor's office for about, seemed like three days. But anyway, I, I digress. So after being at my doctor's office for three days, um, I left there because, you know, I told y'all about my. McDonald's caramel frappuccino which I did get by the way and I brought one for my daughter like I said she likes them too so yeah we're sitting at the table now and oh, I just want to take a deep breath and end this video in my day on a positive note uh, thank you God for everything and um, thank you God especially for this caramel frappe mm. From McDonald's, I got me a large. Thank you, McDonald's. So, let me tell you about McDonald's. Well, yeah, I had to go to two different McDonald's because I went to the first one and I ordered the wrong thing. I did. I'm not blaming nobody, blaming, my, blaming myself. I ordered the wrong thing. I ordered the ice coffee. That's what I ordered, the ice coffee. I just got a coffee full of ice. So, that's what I got because I ordered the wrong thing. So, I had to go to another McDonald's because that McDonald's was just a mess. It was crowded. It was a nightmare. So, I just went to the next McDonald's and I got the correct thing, the camera for I paid. I blame myself. I don't blame anybody else because I ordered the wrong thing. Probably because I was aggravated with the doctor's office for taking so long. But, whatever. I got my camera for I paid and I'm good. I'm home now. I'm settled. And I know I did a lot of chit-chatting today with you ladies and gentlemen, men. I don't know if you guys are watching my channel. But, um, yeah, that's how my day ended. I'm back home with the girls. And I'm um, sitting down, having my fried pay and grab a little something to eat. Yeah, that's how my day went. But, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. 